Are you muted? I was muted. All right, so give me a thumbs up if I sound, she just walked away. Thumbs up if I sound okay. Yes, awesome, you guys. I'm gonna mute the music in the room here. Oh, welcome. Hi. Tracy? Allison, sorry. Allison, tell me your last name. <laughs> All right, good to see you guys. Hi at home. Hope you guys can hear me okay. I'll be checking the screen every now and then. So just give me a signal, a really big one, um, or unmute yourself and holler at me if something happens with the volume uh, and you can't hear. So hi guys, good to see you all in the studio and nice safe space in between uh, everybody, but I'm really glad you're back. So uh, we'll just begin. Begin like we do, child's pose, please. Yeah, so really nice. Just bring your knees nice, nice and wide. Toes, let them touch. Come on in, come on in. And stretch your fingers out long. Just feel this shape. Feel this shape in your body, on the mat, anywhere. <laughs> and as you're getting settled here in your first shape, your first posture, just, just like you do, tap into your breathing. I like to go straight to Ujjayi in a power class to really like fuel the fire from the inside out. But it's your practice, it's your choice. If you wanna just start with a few nice slow breaths in and out. Do what feels right. But every exhale, really just let go. Let go of the week that you've had and anything coming up. And become empty of all that and then make that choice, that intention. Create your intention. What do you want? What do you need? Put it out there. Take a big breath in, fill. Expand, expand, take in a little extra sip. And an open mouth, exhale, ha. Downward facing dog. Yeah, lift up nice and high. And do the things that you like to do in your dog, whether it's cycling your heels, your knees, letting your head hang and sway side to side. And then look at your feet and notice if you're one of those folks who likes them really wide. Bring them hip width. So where your hip points are, bring your feet to that distance. And separate your fingers here at the top of the mat, your pointer finger. Point it to 12 o'clock. And really root down now through the first finger, the thumb, and the space in between. Press down into the pads of your fingers. Lift high onto your toes, hips lift. Big breath in, lift, lift, lift. Inhale, lift your heels higher, higher hips to the sky. Exhale your heels back, press your chest back. Nice, and do that one more time. Lift, lift. 
Press your heels back, press your chest back, knit your ribs in Uddiyana Bandha, navel to spine. Roll forward, high push up. Yeah, top of a plank. Create power lines in your arms and set your gaze between your thumbs. So you have a long, straight spine. Beautiful. Big inhale. All the way to the earth or a low push-up. Your choice. Up dog or cobra. Just a chest opening. Shoulders draw back and in. Tuck your toes. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Walk your feet behind your hand. Rag doll, top of the mat. Yeah, and check out your toes. Lift and spread them. Separate them on the mat. Ground through the balls of your feet, the heels of your feet. Soften your knees. Grab opposite elbows and really just hang. And then take what you need here. And release your hands. Yeah, we're going to move into that. Release your hands. Bend your left knee. Prong your left fingertips. Reach your right arm up to the ceiling. Your right leg can stay long and straight. Every exhale, twist a little more, but it's early, so really deep listening to your body here. Big inhale, and float your right hand down. Bend through your right knee, inhale your left arm up. Notice how it feels to twist, big breath, twist a little deeper. Big inhale, float it down. Toes touch, lift halfway, hands to shins, press into your shins, draw your shoulders on to your back. Yeah, exactly, just like that. So you have a long, straight spine, big inhale, bow down. Yeah, use that breath, inhale, flat spine. Exhale, fold a little deeper, ground through your feet, high mountain, reach up. Nice, and peel your thumbs back, chest open, and maybe, yeah, maybe with soft knees, there is a mini back bend for you. Big inhale, reach up. Exhale your hands to your heart. One ohm. Uh. Dasana, hands high. Uttanasana, a deep forward fold. Beautiful breathing. Lift half on the inhale. High push up on the exhale. And hold here, ujjayi breath. Drishti gaze right between your thumbs. Set your vision. Like you could stay here 10 breaths, 30 breaths. We don't know how long we're staying. On the inhale, lean your shoulders forward. Exhale, chaturanga just halfway down. Up dog, tops of your feet, hips forward. Down dog. Really nice. Big breath in. Big breath out. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Walk your feet to your hands. Lift halfway, movement with breath, forward bow. Tadasana, root to rise. Fold yourself in half. Lift halfway, high to low, step it back. Hug everything into your center line, upward facing back bend, downward facing dog. Breathe in. 
Breathe out. One more breath. Let it go. And then step walker, float both of your feet to the top of the mat. Lift halfway. Forward fold, Tadasana, look up. Bow, look down. Lift half, looking to the top of the mat, Chaturanga, flow it out. Upward facing dog, Urdhva Mukha, Adha Mukha, down dog, ha. Beautiful. And then just noticing what you need, what you don't need. Lift your heels high, soften your knees, squeeze your belly, look forward, float to the top of the mat. Lift half, forward, fold, utkatasana, chair pose. Right into it. Done this practice a time or two, you know kind of where we're going. So toes touch in a little gap in your heels. Beautiful alignment. Now glue your thigh muscles in towards your thigh bones. Breathe. Can you draw your shoulders down your back a tiny bit more? One more breath. Forward fold. Lift halfway. Chaturanga, flow lightly. Up dog. Down dog. Nice. Lift your right leg up. Bend your knee and open up through your hip. So activate your toes on your foot. Yeah, peel them back towards your shin. Big inhale. Right knee to your right tricep. Draw it way out wide. Squeeze. You're in a plank. That knee is wide. Beautiful. Send it back. Cross over your body now. Knee to your left tricep. Squeeze. Pull your ribs in. Go back. Knee to nose. Lift your hips. Lift your back. Warrior one on the right. So, yeah, just stay there. Stay lifted. And then reground. Root down into your feet. Square your hips forward. Square your chest forward. And peel your thumbs back. Big inhale. Warrior two. Open it up. And I like to line my back foot up, even with the back of the mat. Create possibility and an opening for your hips. Sink a little deeper into your lunge. Draw your shoulders back and hug them into the center of your body. Yeah, you've got this. Sink lower in that lunge, but breathe through your crown on the inhale. Chaturanga on the exhale. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left leg, lift it up. Bend your knee, open up. Yeah, breathe into that left side. Feel the opening in your rib cage. Big breath in. Knee to your left shoulder. Draw way out wide. Squeeze, stay lifted in your hips. Send it back. Cross over your body. Compression in your center. Go back. Knee to nose. Everything is square and lifted. Take the step, warrior one. Right back into feet. Hop your right foot over to the right a little bit. Right, the right one. The right one. Yeah, over to the right. Yes, yeah, so you have space to square, to open. Point those hip points to the front of the room, like headlights shining forward. Big inhale. Now open. Warrior two. Notice where you need to soften, but notice where you need to strengthen. Zip up your lower belly more. We always need to zip that area more. Mula Bandha. Now hug your arm muscles in, squeeze in, big breath, chaturanga, flow it out. Up dog, down dog, breathe in, breathe out. And then you're here in your down dog for three more breaths, just really in down dog. Soften your joints, 
squeeze muscle in. Keep pressing your chest back to your thighs, but still lifting high through your tailbone. Then lift your hips and your heels. Soften your knees and spring lightly to the front of the mat. Half rise, forward fold, chair pose, inhale. Bow down, lift half. We're gonna start moving with breath now. Chaturanga, flow it out. Up, chest opens wide, downward facing dog. Step your right foot to your right hand, warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. And take that breath in for length. Flow on the exhale. Upward facing, hips forward, tops of your feet. Downward facing dog. Beautiful, you guys. Left side, step. Reach up. Open. Big inhale. And flow like water flows to the earth. You go upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Breathe in and maybe a ha, ha. I like ha's. It's just a release of energy and just makes me feel lighter. And we're gonna do that same thing one more time. This time adding in that reverse warrior, or that exalted warrior. Step, walk, or float your feet to the top of the mat. Movement with your own breath. Half rise. Bow down. Chair pose. Fold. Lift half. Lean forward. Chaturanga. Up. Down. Right side, warrior one. Warrior two. Reverse. Flow. Up dog. Down dog. Left side, you're still in that exhale, then inhale to reach. Exhale, open. Reverse. Fill up. Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog, big breath in, beautiful big breath out, inhale, exhale, step your right foot forward, crescent lunge, right back into your legs, peel that back heel up high, and right, it's an internal rotation of those thighs peeling in. Draw your, your thigh muscles up towards your pelvis. Draw your hands to your heart. And we'll take an open twist here. Draw your left arm forward and peel your right arm back. Yeah, your thumbs are drawn up, shoulders drawn back. Peel those upper arm bones back. Now, if it's in your practice or if you want it, extend your left arm up and your right arm down the back of your leg. Just choices here. The next inhale, crescent lunge. Warrior two, plant your back foot down. Peel your shoulders back. Stack them right on top, right on top of your hips. Spark your fingers. Extended side angle. Left arm up to the ceiling, right hand to the front of your right foot or a block. I mean, lots of choices, right? Your practice. What are you working on? Or what do you want? Just pose and repose with your breath. Yeah, smile is okay. Smiles are optional here. And then stack your left shoulder on top of your right shoulder. Open up a bit more. Maybe there's a bind, you guys. You have two more breaths. Big inhale. Big exhale. Now look to the front of your mat. 
press your left hand right in line with that right foot. Pop up onto the ball of your left foot. Reach your right arm up. You're again in a square hip posture with a twist. Now separate those fingers on your left hand because they're going to be uh, a base of support here. Spin into side plank on your left hand and your left foot. Vashistasana. However you want to get there, can take three breaths. If you want to drop your bottom knee, the left knee, go for it. If you want to reach for a toe or a tree pose on your side, go for that. Really nice. Lift your leg. Big inhale. Square everything. High to low push up. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, and ha, big inhale, big exhale, step your left foot forward, crescent lunge. Like often staying in flow will just, yeah, you just go. Not too much time to think about it. Bring your hands to your heart. Stay so strong in your feet and in your legs and reach that right arm forward. Peel your left arm back. Hips stay stationary and then you twist from your waist up. You just oh, rotate and open. Maybe you revolve this and your right hand reaches high. Use your breath. Soften your face. Beautiful, you guys. Big inhale. War oh, crescent lunge. <laughs> yeah, let's not skip the crescent. And then open up. Warrior two. And that one adds a little challenge to me, getting back into crescent. Sink into your lunge. And stack your shoulders right. Yes, that's it. Glue that navel in toward your spine. Extended side angle. So right here, start at your base. Ground those feet. Such strong legs. Deep lunge. Peel your thoracic spine in. Really nice. Peel the front of your right lung open. And what did you do on side one? Two more breaths. Big inhale, big exhale, look to your mat, plant that right hand next to your left foot, pop up onto the ball of your right foot, again square hips, left arm reaches up, nice, separate those fingers on your right hand, you're moving into side plank, you remember we did this on side one and just spin on out. All right, and if it's not like perfectly graceful, so what? Who cares? It's a practice, not a, not a yoga perfection here. Draw your toes back towards your face. See if that fires up that left leg and then lift your left leg. Yeah, even if it's wobbly. Lift it really nice, chaturanga. Move through your vinyasa. Big breath in and let it go. Ha. Deep breath. Empty it out. Float to the top of your mat. Tack rise. Forward fold. Tadasana. Reach up. Bring your hands to your heart. And just a cleansing, grounding breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Utkatasan, take your chair. Nice, and ground through your right foot and lift your left leg over. So we're moving into eagle, nice and slow. Left leg over, left arm under. Set your gaze. Yeah, really nice. Lift your elbows to shoulder height. 
And so nice and slow now, start to take a bow. Hinge at your hips, keep your chest open. Connect elbow to knee, unbind that leg, send it back, warrior three, and then fly into airplane. Spark your fingers. Press through your left heel. Half moon, take the rotation. Bring your right hand to a block or to the mat, left hand up to the ceiling. Find opening, find freedom, your hips, stack your left hip on top of your right hip. Soften your right knee joint and step it back, warrior two, on the right. Yeah, and then whatever you need to do to reset, maybe you straighten that front leg and come back into your lunge. Half moon, lift off. Yeah, here we go. We're right back there. Airplane, fly your hands back. You've got this. Activate that lifted leg. Back to eagle. You can do it. Set your gaze. One more breath. Foot to the mat, hands high. Maybe a little back bend, yeah. And that just like, oh, smile, I did it. <laughs> and bow down. And separate your feet here. We're gonna scoop up those big toes with our peace fingers. Peace fingers to toes. Peel your elbows out. Draw your chest in. So really get that sense of connection here. Even if you don't connect, you're trying to connect that lower rib cage to the top of your thighs. Lean in. Let your head go. And then halfway rise. Forward fold. One more time, but this time bend your knees just a little less, but still draw your shoulders onto your back. Yeah, really nice forward bow. Release your hands, toes touch. Tadasana. Now your left leg is rooted, right leg over eagle, right arm under. Garudasana. Set that eagle vision. Find your focus with breath. Start to take the bow. Really lead with your chest. Maybe you even connect elbow to thigh. Unbind your top leg, send it back into warrior three legs. And then reach your arms back, spark through your fingers. Chest is nice and lifted. Yeah, beautiful, Gloria. Half moon, left hand finds the ground or finds the, the block. Maybe it even hovers. Open up. Activate your toes, peel them back towards your face. Soften your left knee, step it back, warrior. Two. Just find that sense of, of groundedness that, that you get from both feet on the earth. Back into half moon. Pull your muscles in towards your center. Fly into airplane. Take your time. Set your gaze. Eagle, wrap up. Glue 
your upper thighs together. Tilt your tailbone down towards the earth. Foot to the mat, hands up high, big breath. Hands to your heart, ha. Tree. Actually, I'll give you the option. It's really like seven or eight breaths. This is our last balancing each side. If you want to dance around the right and then to dance around the left, go for it. Otherwise, tree pose. Maybe it's a standing leg raise on the right. Your version of balancing on your right left foot and then your right leg does something. Maybe there's just something you really want right now. Tree can be very meditative. Two more breaths and this commitment to your choice. Beautiful, you guys. I love all of the different choices and the different expressions. Right foot to the mat and then the opposite side. So giving yourself the same opportunity, what you did on the right, let's do that on the left. Using that drishti gaze and your breath. Two more breaths. You can just feel all of the concentration in this room. Foot to the mat. Hands to your heart, breathe in, breathe out. Soften your knee joints and take a big step back with your right foot. So you're pointing all of your toes in the right direction. Point your right foot now to the back of the mat. So heels are in line. You can see you're set up here for triangle, pointing to the back of the mat. Reach your right arm back to that right foot and take your triangle. It's all about grounding and stacking, and then you just radiate. You radiate all of your amazing energy, full breath in, full breath out. Point your thumb towards the mirrors, David. The other way, point your thumb to, yeah, 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 that way. Good. Squeeze those shoulders onto your back. Soften your knees. Stand up. Both feet facing that right direction. Left foot now points to the front of the mat. Heels in line, triangle on the left. Reach, reach, reach. Come forward, come down. For your version of triangle and Baptiste, we love our hand on the outside of the left leg to create a nice big opening. But if you're working another practice, like do what feels right or what you're, what you're working on. Big inhale. On the exhale, peel your right scapula back. Big breath. Twist open. Soften your knee joints and stand up. Once again, that left foot pivots, so both feet are again facing in that right direction for our straddle. Forward fold, reach up, bow down. Bring your hands in line with your feet. Yes, just like that. And draw the crown of your head down. If you're someone who's just like so close to getting upside down, maybe today is the day, or I mean getting your feet up. Just lean in. Your sitting bones, spread them apart. Pull the crown of your head down and a little more weight in the balls of your feet than the heels of your feet. So 
really just shifting that center of gravity, finding trust. Big inhale. Big exhale. Hands to your hips and rise up slow. Really nice. So take a skandasana. So it's a nice deep lunge in that right leg. And then your left toes point up. Hands at your heart, hands forward. Maybe there's an opening. There's lots of fun things you can do here. Just a nice deep stretch. Press through that right leg and move on over to the left side. Deep lunge, right toes point up. There's an opening that you're wanting. Press down into that left foot and we're right back in to straddle forward fold. Take yourself about halfway. So lifting halfway, torso halfway lifts, and then interlace your hands behind your back. Wrists in line, if possible, ring out. Take a fold. Lean in here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two more breaths. Let it go. Release your hands. And then walk your hands over to your right foot. So now you're at the back of the mat. Point your right foot to the back of the mat. Lizard lunge on the right. So hop that left foot out and over. And you just have like four or five breaths to play with your expression. So if that means dropping your back leg right away, uh, if that means just staying in a plank with this, this right leg and this deep lunge. Lizard lunge, the lunge of your choice, really. Really nice, you guys. Last big breath here. Come up onto your hands if you're on your forearms. And then you just twist yourself right back into that straddle just as you were. Walk your hands over to your left foot. Point your left foot to the front of your mat. Lizard lunge on the left. Hop that right leg over. Bring both hands to the inside of your left foot. Again, choices. Sometimes I'm just ready to drop my back leg. <laughs> and other times I want more, and it works a little different area. You get a little more in the psoas, right? Big inhale. Big exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Step your left foot to the back of the mat. Move into a high plank. You can always drop your knees. Low plank. Up dog. Keep all that integrity. Draw your shoulders back. Length in the back of your neck. Downward facing dog. High push up. To low. Up dog, it's our last one. Downward facing dog. High push up. Elbows hug in, nice and low, slowly lower on to the earth. Find a cheek. Happy, joyful, right or left cheek. Breathe in and breathe out. And just feel this. Prone position, a different, a different way to feel your breath. One more breath. Let it go. Open your eyes.
Yeah, so you're just like right back. Chin to center, hands behind you, palms face down by your hips, locust. Press down into your hips and pelvis and lift everything else up. Send the balls of your feet to the back. Whatever's back behind you, draw your shoulders back and in. Press your chest wide open. Lower down onto the mat. Take the other cheek. Yeah, so whatever cheek that you didn't, didn't give some love on the mat. Take a moment. Breathe in. Breathe out. Floor bow. So we have two of these, you guys. So you can always take one foot at a time. I love that option. One foot or two feet. Grab those feet or grab your ankles. Kick your shins back. Press your chest open. Really activate your legs a lot. Peel your thighs a little closer together and dip your chin. So yeah, so you have the length in the back of your neck. Big breath in. Lower down. Take your feet and just wiggle them left to right. Soften through your lower back and your hips. Reach back. Scoop up your feet. It's our last one. Ground down to rise up. Breathe in and breathe out. And even on the exhale, can you lift a little higher? It's a challenge for me. And then lower down. Really nice. Take your hands next to your chest and scoop yourself into upward facing dog. Be on the tops of your feet and now soften your elbows so they're just not locked out. Yeah, and then sway your hips left to right. Find a, a little malleability there. Some softness. <laughs> That's it. And then tuck your toes down dog. Breathe in and breathe out. And then float through to your seat. Come onto your back. Bridge. Press your feet down. Lift your hips up. We just have two rounds here, you guys. So, yeah, go now. Draw your shoulders underneath your back a lot. Really beautiful breath. This is part of our igniting series. So you really are ignited in breath. You should feel the vitality like flowing through you by this point. I am alive. <laughs> Lift your chin lower down. Press your lower back into the mat and just take a neutral breath here. And then one more time, bridge or wheel, plant your hands wide by your ears. If wheel is in your practice, give yourself that opportunity and lift up. Yes, you got it. Go now. Open up a little bit more. Straighten those arms. Big inhale. Soften your face, though. Big exhale. Lift your chin lower down to the earth. Supta, Vada, Kanasana. Deep touch. And your knees fall apart. Big breath. Let it go. And so even in rest, strong, powerful warrior. Like it's okay to rest. And take your knees together and hug them in towards your chest. And especially if you were in wheel, pull your forehead to meet your knees. Squeeze in. 
take a few rocks and roll. So I want you to find, yeah, so it's the start to this, uh, this heat building here, tapas, right, in your center. Yeah, front to back, shoulders to heels, and then you kind of hover the heels without touching the heels, so you're like in a boat, yeah. That's it, just finding balance here, rocking and rolling, rocking and rolling until you move into boat. On the next exhale, Navasana. That's it, spread your toes apart. Can you spark your toes so much that those outer shins hug in? Really beautiful, and then like, straighten out your legs a tiny bit more. A little extra energy, a little more work, that's it. Now come back into that modified boat with your knees slightly bent. And then row your boat, so knees to hips, side to side. Row your boat, use your breath, there's no rush. Keep the length in your spine too, as you twist for five, Use your breath, four, three, two, one. Stay in your boat, hands to your heart. If you have a block, grab your block. Hold on to your block. If you don't have a block, press your hands together. Forearms in one line, big inhale. Exhale, right elbow down. Inhale, center. Slow, exhale left, inhale, center. It's just like two more, right, left, right, left, and then lower onto your back. Your knees stay bent. Lower back is glued to the earth. Your hands can stay behind your head and tap your heels to the ground, inhale, lift them. Knees stay at hips, so tap your heels and lift for five, four, three, squeeze all the muscles of your pelvic floor in. Last one, bicycle twist for 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then lower to the mat and smile and laugh and express joy <laughs> because that's all, all over. No one's going to say that your solar plexus and that center did not get some love today. Drop your knees over to the left and shift your gaze over to the right, taking a little twist. It feels good to stretch the obliques and the spine. Back through center. Switch it out. Back through center, hug your knees in, rock yourself back to front, and you can move through vinyasa, but you don't have to. You can just step your feet back to down dog. We will meet in downward facing dog. Slide your right knee. If there's things you like to do before setting up for your pigeon, do those things. And then slide your right knee behind your right wrist for your half pigeon. Yeah, I didn't even call frog. <laughs> That's next Friday. <laughs> what? Square your hips, reach your hands forward. Let go.
So there should be absolutely no work happening in your neck. Let, yeah, that's it. Let your head go on something. And just feel here. And when things get quiet, you know, you guys have been doing yoga a while, so you probably, when things get quiet, you're okay just getting quiet. It's part of our journey in yoga. But often, things happening in the world, in our lives, we come to a quiet place, and the head begins to spin. Some of my favorite mentors call it time traveling. We go to the past, we go to the future. We can't be in the moment. We have a hard time with that, and it requires practice. Everything in this world, social media, the news, all of it is like the opposite of being in present moment in our bodies. So we practice again and again. So every time you want to drift to that thought or follow that story, you come back to just this. Your body in this moment, in the room that you're in, the temperature of the air on your skin, the sensation of breath in your lungs. That feeling of dew on your skin, a little sweat, like whatever is your experience be in it. Downward facing dog. Do the things that you like, any counter poses, maybe ready to lift that left leg. Left knee behind your left wrist, half pigeon, left side. Square your hips. Reach your hands forward. Try to dial that right thigh, that right femur bo bone even with the earth, even with your mat. It's the best that you can. Surrender and breathe. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out and take three more deep breaths. Walk your hands back towards your chest. Lift your chest up. Swing that right leg around and send both of your legs forward, moving into our seated forward fold. Remove any flesh from underneath your seat. Reach your hands up high, big breath. Hinge at your hips. Take a bow. Halfway lift. And a little deeper you go. Two breaths. Mm. 
and you come up onto your seat. On your inhale, lower onto your back, move into your inversion. If you're in the room, most of you have a block. You can take that block right under your table bone for a wonderful waterfall. If you're at home or even in the room, you can send your legs up the wall. It's like the most restorative one we've got. You practice other things. If you took shoulder stand doing those other fun things, plow, the deaf man's, if you're in a classical headstand, maybe there's a, a pike, variation B. Child's pose if you were in a headstand. We'll all meet on our backs. Happy baby. I feel like we didn't get one of those yet. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Drop them to the right and shift your gaze over to the left for a supine twist. Come back through center and just do the other side. back through center, any final hug or whatever you need for completion. Shavasana. Let your feet just, just fall apart, take up space. Draw your shoulders underneath you, palms face up for, for receiving. Chest open. Compassionate. Breathe in. And out. And just let go and enjoy your Shavasana.
take a nice slow breath in and let it go. And just let breath start to flow a little bit more fully through your body. Fingers move, toes, head maybe side to side. Stretch out if that feels good. And then roll onto your right hand side and curl into fetal pose. Acknowledge how you feel. And just cultivate gratitude for for this studio, for the people in this room, for your home environment, for your, your ambition to get on your mat today. And press yourself up onto your seat. Bring your hands together at your heart. Lifted and just energized in your spine. One ohm. Breathe in. Oh. knuckles to your forehead center. I am grateful for all of you. Thank you for being here. Namaste. Yay. To everybody in the room, to everybody at home, thank you guys so, so much. Good to see everybody. For those of you who could be here and for those of you who, who couldn't but you still can be here, I'm so glad. I just one real quick announcement before I let you all go. 40 days to your personal revolution. Amazing, amazing program, Baptiste program. If you've never done it, you should at least try it once. Get the book. Um, it's being led by Frank at the Southside Studio, if that works for you. We only meet once a week, June 28th to August the 2nd, 7 to 8 p.m. F815, and the rest of the work is done like through that Facebook group. You bond with the, the folks in your group, and then it's, it's a lot of like journaling, documenting, looking at diet, looking at emotion, looking at reaction, looking at your practice, building up meditation, building up your yoga practice. It's like, it's, it's my favorite. Like, I, it really is. I've led it once before. I was so excited to do it. Uh, it doesn't fit into my schedule to lead it now, but. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know I'm here. Thank you guys at home. Good to see you, everybody. Have a wonderful Friday, a wonderful weekend. If you want to say goodbye and unmute yourself, please do. It, it meets on Sunday nights. That's the meeting time. The rest of the work, you're doing it all through the week. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Hey, Megan. Hey, Megan. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Have an awesome week. Weekend. Weekend. It's Friday. Hey. You're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. You are so welcome. so glitchy right now. Yeah, you're welcome, Nicole. Nice to meet you in person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good. You're so welcome. Have a good one. Yeah, I would love to see you next week. I, this thing is being so glitchy. Allison. See you, Gloria. Bye. Enjoy your Friday. Ha, ha, ha.